Keeping the F-35 dominant for decades to come will require more than an engine upgrade. The jet will also need an improved cooling system to manage the heat from its growing list of electronic systems. On the F-35, there's a significant challenge today where the aircraft has reached the limit of the capability of the cooling that they have on the aircraft, but they still want to add more equipment. You're adding additional heat that wasn't there before, and we need to be able to provide capacity to cool that heat. Cooling helps keep the F-35 operational. Cooling systems work by using compressed air from the engine. But when they use too much of that air, also known as bleed air, it affects the engine's ability to perform. So bleed air is really taking away power from the engine. We need it to power those systems, but every pound per minute of air that we draw off those engines is a pound per minute of air that is not going to the turbines. It is not creating shaft horsepower or it is not creating thrust. When you pull bleed off of an engine, that has a cost. It has a cost in performance of the engine or it has a cost in the life of the engine. So you want to make sure that your propulsion system, your engine, your motor is designed to work hand in hand with your power and thermal management system. So it's causing the turbine to wear out sooner. The more often you have to re repair the turbine, the more money it costs, the more downtime for the engine, things that um, the warfighter doesn't want. And the only place they can go is larger heat exchangers or more bleed extraction from the engine. Both of those are going in the wrong direction for the performance of the overall aircraft system. To solve that problem, engineers at Collins Aerospace have developed the Emergency Power and Cooling System, or EPAX. Our emergency power and cooling system can operate very efficiently with less bleed air. We still can provide the level of cooling and power thermal management capability as is required through the life cycle of the F-35. But what that means for the warfighter itself is not only improved capabilities of the actual aircraft, what it also means from a maintenance standpoint, there should be reduced maintenance costs, there should be longer engine life, and ultimately should improve range and thrust.